We now return to A&E's An Evening at the Improv. Another Bud Friedman triumph. I'll let you in on a little secret. Bud was responsible for getting me cast in a new Betty Davis film. Seriously, I'm serious. One night, not too long ago, I dropped by here at the Improv, I was celebrating my engagement, and Bud introduced me to the director of Wicked Stepmother. And bingo, I got the part. Not the Wicked Stepmother, but another really good part. Seriously, right here at the Improv. Isn't that great? What a guy! <laughs> we like to kid Bud a lot, but you know, he has been a real friend of many performers through the years. Like our next talent, Stephanie Miller is a morning radio personality from Chicago on WCKG and was the first performer to appear on the stage at our grand opening of the Chicago Improvisation. Let's welcome her tonight on our stage, Stephanie Miller! <laughs> Mall, let's hear it. Oh, all right. Hollywood, the improv. Are you guys excited or what? Yeah. Whew. Even to get the improv national TV, I am so excited to be here. I think I just ovulated. I do. Um, <laughs> did you feel it was like a big egg just poof, right down when you guys popped? I don't know what that was, but I won't do it again. All right. <laughs> okay, last time. Uh, <laughs> Oh, good. The peroxide blondes from hell made it out tonight. Very nice. Oh. Yeah. Remember that Sarah closet? Sure, she was gorgeous, right? She, you know, but you take away the hair, the teeth, the makeup, the clothes, and what do you have? She's still a gorgeous girl. I hate that bitch. Um, <laughs> but girls, um, no, did you, like, go to, like, to the drugstore with a truck to get the uh, bleach and mousse? Or, uh, <laughs> kidding. All right. Um... Let's not have a fist fight. Don't you love how people say that, kidding? Like, they think they can say whatever they want as long as they say just kidding right after it. <laughs> You're like, kidding? Oh, okay. Up yours, kidding. All right. Um, are we close enough to have girl talk now, do you think? Do you think? Can we? Because we do. We have to have girl talk, don't we, girls? We have to. Yeah. It's a douche group. All right. Um, <laughs> Oh, God, good-looking men here, too. Sir, is that, like, real chest hair? One of those hair dickies. I can't tell. <laughs> That's lovely. Very macho. Mmm, lovely. All right. God, I'm excited. California. I mean, because we're in the land of Vanna now, aren't we? Um, are you guys into her? I don't know. Is it me, ladies, or if you were on Wheel of Fortune, how many of you would pass up a chance at those prizes for a chance to strap Vanna to that wheel and just spin her <laughs> until that stupid smile comes off her face? Is it me? <laughs> I hate how she acts on that show, don't you? She has that stupid smile, and then someone loses, and she goes, Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Vanna. Get out of my face. <laughs> I do. I love L.A., but I was down, I was down on uh, Rodeo Drive today, Beverly Hills. This place is a little too snotty for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, even the mannequins have an attitude down there. Have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> they all, like, have their hands on their hips going, <laughs> You can't afford this outfit. <laughs> Don't even stop, you drooling bag woman. <laughs> oh, bizarre stuff out here. I just read in the paper this morning, I can't believe this, that a woman out here from Beverly Hills <laughs> got, got arrested for shoplifting at Kmart. I swear to God, and you know what she shoplifted? Shoes. How do you shoplift shoes at Kmart? They've all got those, they're all tied together with those little plastic pieces. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, God. Yes, I'm living in Chicago now, though, and, uh, well, of course, that's the land of Oprah. And, uh, you guys have Vanna, and we have Oprah. Um, you gotta love Oprah, though, don't you? You guys watch? Yeah. You gotta, it's just one-legged Latin lesbian midgets today on Oprah. <laughs> Women who've murdered midgets and married them today on Oprah. She's like one of those little dogs in the back of your window today. 
I don't know, bro. I don't know what it is about. Her. We also, who else do we have? Dear Abby, of course, is from Chicago. Is this embarrassing? Have you ever seen her, like, on The Tonight Show or anything? <laughs> Thank you very much, Johnny. Wake up and smell the coffee, yeah? Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, she's from Chicago. All right, we do. Oh, God. This safe sex thing is getting out of hand. You would not believe we have in Chicago now. We actually have a condom delivery service. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear, and, and they wrote that the reason for this thing is supposed to be to save us the embarrassment of actually having to go to the store and buy these things. <laughs> and of course, it's not embarrassing at all to have to call this place and have this truck pull up in front of your house. <laughs> Here you go, Miss Miller. Your condoms. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. It's a good deal, though, guys. Only $4 uh, installed. So... <laughs> kind of good deal. I've been thinking a lot about sex, have you noticed? Uh, and I'm fascinated with celebrities, because I am, but now I'm in L.A. and I'm just, I'm in heaven, because I, I, I think a lot. I wonder if they're like the rest of us at, I don't know, the most ordinary moments in life, like, say, oh, during sex. <laughs> How did I think of that? This is what I think some of our most famous celebrities might sound like during sex. Thank you very much. <laughs> Catherine Hepburn. Oh, Spencer, ride, ride, ride. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore. Grumpy, sleepy, sneezy, dancer, prancer, dogs. <laughs> Aunt B from the Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> All right, I won't do it. Andy, open, open. Does anyone have any respect left for me? Because I have none for myself. Um, <laughs> and finally, the Queen of England. The Queen of England. <laughs> I've arrived. with more great comedy.